as you can see there, I'm dipping my plastic card into all three colours and they'll mix together on the paper as you can see here. So they're running up into the sky area. You can see that blue, the Piemontite Genuine and the Buff Titanium work so well together. Really love these three colours, but I will give you alternative colours in the description below. But as you can see here, I'm just using an ordinary plastic card that I've cut up. I'm just applying this tubed paint here onto the damp surface and sort of manipulating it and just applying even more sort of freshly squeezed paint on to the damp surface and it starts to have a mind of its own so I just go with the flow and you can see where it's wetter the paint sort of runs up a little bit more but where I've left a dry area to the left in the middle of the left area you can see the paint doesn't run onto it so I've applied the paint now to the foreground area using pretty much just the Piemontite Genuine and Buff Titanium and I just love those two colours together there they've created such texture almost like a sandy beach and I'm just using the card now to drag it across the horizon line there and just apply a little bit more paint using the corner of the card to add more linear detail. So using a little bit of the Indanthrone Blue here, I'm applying it to the dry area of the sea area where I haven't wet the paper, but also I've added it to the wet paper just below it there so it's run a little bit. And I'm using my brush now just to soften some of those hard edges there and to blend and soften the Indanthrone Blue. I'm using my size four round brush and you can see these colours work so well together. They're like three primary colours. So you've got the Indanthrone blue as the primary blue, but the Piemontite genuine is almost like a red and then the Buff Titanium is like an earthy yellow. So I'm tilting here, allowing the water to run into some of the paint and I'm painting the Indanthrone blue now using my size six round brush, wet into wet, tilting as I go. I've mixed up some of the Piemontite Genuine there to make the color even darker. So mixing the colors on the paper, tilting and just allowing it to flow and you get some wonderful happy accidents painting in this style just getting rid of that little sort of dry mark there in the sky and I'm just tilting at all angles just to get things flowing and I just respond to what's what's happening so yours could be a little bit different if your paint isn't moving so well just give it a spritz with a spritzer bottle it'll introduce a little bit more moisture and then carry on tilting you want to leave some areas light as well so you can always spritz that area if you lose the light and spritz some of the paint away and mop up the excess at the edge of your paper you notice I use washi tape there around the edge it creates a really nice border and it sort of presents your work really well if you're not going to frame it so as you can see here I'm just letting everything run down and it really does look quite atmospheric there and you may need to mop up some of the puddles there with a clean damp brush and I'm just applying a very light shade with a mix of the Indanthrone Blue and Piemontite Genuine just for some soft clouds in the distance there to create some depth in my painting using my size six round brush. I'm using the plastic card again just to lift off some of the paint here and there to create light and details and I thought it'd be quite nice to have a little spatter so I've mixed up the blue and the red and I'm spattering in the foreground with my size six brush damp into damp. A little spot went into the C area so I'm just lifting that off with a clean damp brush. And what was quite nice it actually littered off some of the blue creating more light in the water. So I'm actually using the plastic card to draw with. So I'm just using the corner of the card to apply paint. You get these lovely thin lines. So I'm just sort of drawing in or sketching in some rocks here on the sandy beach just to add some details. I always like to finish off with darks and details in my watercolour paintings, whether they be impressionist, abstract or quite representational. It's just a good rule of thumb so you know you're heading for the end of the painting and you don't overwork it. Just a few more marks now and I'm going to remove the washi tape. It reveals a lovely white border and it gives me time to assess to see if I need to do any more to my painting. But I think I'll leave it there for now. I'm really pleased with it.
If you are interested in learning how to use the plastic card, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? You will get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials, but more in-depth tutorials where I really explain the techniques and methods that I'm using. Check out the description below. Just click Patreon. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy painting. Bye for now.